So this is Loop Hero. Um, if you don't know what it is, don't worry. That's why we're here today. It's to figure it out. Because I, 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 I'll be honest, I don't know. I don't know either. Let's jump right in to Loop Hero. <gasps> Can you see the version? Wait. The stars in the sky are going out one by one, but still, version 0 0.012. We get don't get more on brand than this. Okay, anyway. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before. Before it. Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool. The cosmos is just dropping down. It's like the the sky is falling. What, what's the name of the the little chicken? Chicken movie, the, the sky falls. Well, there's the food one where the sky falls and it's food. Uh, but this, this actually, I really like this illustration. Anyway, Chicken Little, boom, that one. Also, hello, Matthew, welcome. But I, I don't know, I love like this. I love cosmic horror. That's my favorite type of horror. And then Victorian kind of goes right underneath it, so you mix Victorian and Cosmic and you get Bloodborne, and that game is fantastic. Anyway. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible in a place without space, without time, without memories. Um, uh, where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. To change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning stop modes, pl press the switch. Press the switch, right click, or space. Okay. Oh, oh. To change, okay. Continue your journey by changing your game mode. I hope I will be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such such thing as a night still even exists without a sky, of course. I don't know why I made him like that. Ooh. Pay attention to the day progress bar at the top of the screen over here. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey. This seemed like the beginning of the day, though, though, because of the rooster. Continue your journey by changing game mode. Space, right click. Okay. A living ball of slime? Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Okay. Hey! I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. <laughs> Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. Okay, so it's a filling blue bar. Okay. I like the, the art style. It's very old-timey. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the... The remains of this thing that's not fully digested. <laughs> uh, okay, you have an inventory and an item slot. You know what to do. Equip the item to continue. I think I remember that there's a grove nearby. And these even are these even my memories, or do they belong to that slot? Oh, because not even memories. So he's learning through 
the things he kills. That's interesting. So now we know if the universe kind of ends and we lose all our memories, people are just going to default to Va Valley Girl accent. That's kind of like the default accent. You can use cards that are left after defeating enemies to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. Interesting. I, I kind of like that. It's you remembering it. That's why things are showing up. Good. Now continue your journey. <laughs> I like how derpy he also looks. Wait, what? My next chance, Wasteland. Oh, interesting. So there's actually different stats for the... Okay. Wasteland. There's absolutely nothing here. Well, except slime. 5% chance of spawning a slime once per day. Okay. Grove, gentle rustle of leaves, a crack of di dry branch, and a feeling of being watched. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent- Why would I ever build anything? There's a 5% chance of spawning a slime. Why would I ever build anything? Look at that. Shut up. There's a rat wolf. There you go. Ooh. Forget Forest Rat Wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered like a bad. Damn! It's good that nobody is listening. You can get new items and cards during battle. As you've probably already noticed, some items have unique abilities as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item or card, you can inspect its properties. Equip a new weapon and place a new card on the map to continue. Okay. So this is four to six damage, but two damage to all. That's interesting. So if there are multiple enemies. Oh, and that weapon is gone. I can't switch back now. So choices are final. Okay. And forest, what does forest do? Plus 1% to hero attack speed. So this is kind of good. So I know that... Oh, I don't put it in the... What happens if I put it here? What was that? Um... What does this do? It's magnificent. Appearance... Its magnificent appearance gives you strength. Plus 2 HP and plus 2 more HP at every adjacent rock or mountain. Okay, so it's something I want to put rocks together? I'm guessing I'm going to put it in the corner. Great. So there, there was a mountain over there. And here's a forest. The world's just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Okay. Some of your actions will yield resources that will need that you will need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by changing the game mode space. Okay, wait. Some of the actions you will need later on. Okay, so, interesting. So now I have stable wood and preserved rock. All right. I don't get what these little icons are on the side. I think it's time for some rest. The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time. But a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Oh. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea. Camp is just around the corner. Retreat. Keep all your resources. Stay. So, like, I won't lose any resources, so I'm going to stay. Okay, I can't. <laughs> Retreat. It's cold and dark here. 
A small fire can solve both of these problems. A nice place to set up camp. This is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who would you have... Who would have thought you have just enough wood and stone to make a campfire? What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in a camp. Press the build button, select the campfire, and place it. Build. Campfire. Okay. Congratulations, you've beaten the this annoying tutorial. <laughs> you can now start your first expedition. Or not. Do as you wish. Click anywhere to complete your tutorial. Interesting, so I made a little camp in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the darkness of the u universe. Expedition. Okay, I'm starting my expedition. Oh, oh. This path? Everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place. And it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Ugh. Like, I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I'm the worst savior of all. Let's do it. All right, so. Here we're going, okay, okay. Okay, so that's the basic loop of the game. Got a little car, what's this? Battlefield. It's, it smells of blood and steel. Spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Chests are good, as far as I know, unless they're mimics. Mimics are bad. Oh, I just realized. I didn't change the name of the stream. <laughs> this is not typing. When you mess up your... <laughs> there we go. That should help. That should help. Alright. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, I hear everyone talking about this game. And I... Oh, what is this? Evasion. 9% a ring. Okay. And then battlefield. That, that's what I... Okay, spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> but, okay, I see. Maybe I want to put it where it gets the fewest number of tiles. I wonder if it's a good idea to... to have... Yeah, it feels like the fewest number of tiles is too. If it's a good idea to have it right after camp? Because at the beginning of each loop there's a chance of spawning chests, so boom, I get it right as I leave. So it seems to be more of a... Oh, oh, oh. Damage 4 to 6, and I don't have anything. Seems to be more of a... strategy game. Where, like they said, the actions are being taken... taken by the... Ooh, spider cocoon! Uh, a silky bastion of eight-legged hunters spawns spiders on an adjacent tile once a day. Why would I ever put that in? <clears throat> Doesn't seem... Mountain! Mm, like a rock! but really big. Plus five to each ad adjacent rock or mountain. Again. I'm gonna start putting these in the corner. Slime. Artificial life. And liquid. Oh, it stops when I highlight them. Interesting. Ooh! Road lantern. A small spotlight in this grim world. Decreases maximum numbers of monsters on ad adjacent tiles. Effects of lanterns can stack. 
here's what I was thinking. Boom, look at this positioning. You get so much out of that. Here we have another mountain. And meadow. Okay, meadow. Earth covered with a thick carpet of grass. Nothing really interesting. Unless you're a cow, of course. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So this is one I can put out here as well. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start putting meadow down here. Ooh, more meadow. Nice. Cemetery. Okay, grove. Grove is... Again. Why would it put these down? Cemetery. Place of the dead spawn skeletons every three days. Like, why, why would I ever put these down? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm getting, I'm getting stuff out of these. Treasury. The thick walls guard all kinds of riches from thieves and previous owners. Gives a random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile. Can't be built adjacent to anything. Okay. Gives random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile. Okay, so, it doesn't let me put it in the corner. But, so I can build around it. And rock? Do I put it next to the mountain? Or... Should I use rock as something to put? Yeah, so I'm getting something out of there. I'm getting scrap metal, ration, and preserved pebbles. What? what? A lot of stuff just happened. Okay. Armor, max HP, 172. I got two armor, 89. Oh, this one's way better. Okay. Shield. Defense 6, magic damage, and ye <laughs> I thought that was a Y, Yamanderism, but it's vampirism. Okay. Uh, armor... Okay, no. 4 to 6, 4 to 6, alright. Oh, I don't, we have more meadows here, meadows I can put down. I wonder if I can put meadows down around the treasury. Because that... Yes, I can, okay. What was that? Noticeable change. 20 changes form a complete metamorph- Wait, what? This is enough to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout. Interesting, so the concept of change. <laughs> or a drop of water into a s into steam. Will turn itself into something else too if you collect enough of it. Interesting. That's an interesting concept, what was this? Mad completion. Map completion. <laughs> When this bar is filled, the boss of this- oh. The boss of this chapter will appear in, in the campfire tile. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna do meadow here too. Wait. Blooming meadow. Flowers get a feel- So I guess it's blooming because I put it next to something. Heals 3 HP, so it's a better idea to- Yeah, why would I ever put any of these down? These are all creating bigger monsters. Okay, so it seems like I can speed up time. Go to 2x. There you go. Okay, what do we have? Vampire Mansion. Adds vampires to battles on adjacent tiles. Again, don't know why I would have that. Put my mountain over here. Got two groves, a cemetery. Oh yeah, I, I was thinking maybe I could hit both of them at once, but I forgot. This is a... Here's another mountain. Ooh, ooh. Look at all these mountains. So what was it again? Uh, For each adjacent rock or mountain. Oh, so maybe I should be timing these when my health is lower. Ooh, another beacon. Ooh, a chest! So, oh, a beacon. Wait, this is different. Worthless landmark in a world with no direction. 40% movement speed within its range. 
20% attack speed for all units. Interesting, including myself. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel like... I don't know if this is good for me, though. We'll see. Oh, it's plus five total HP. Interesting. Oh, I got another rock. And another road lo Okay, th this is going a little bit too fast for me. I need to... I'm getting stuff. I need a plan here. Okay, meadow. Hey, look at all that good stuff. Okay, road lantern. This would be another great position for it. This could be a... Yeah, I'm putting it here. Uh, there we go. I, I don't know what the circles in this, because this has a little half circle, full circle, full circle. There's so many questions. That's interesting. Oh, oh, this is new. Oblivion. A bit of the lich's magic caused anything to be totally forgotten. Erases any established tiles. Erases monsters from the road. Interesting. That seems like a very powerful card. So, erases any established tiles. So, all of these would go. Definitely save that for. Interesting. Hmm. I didn't st even stop to see my stats. HP per day, evasion, attack speed, vampirism, which I don't know what I mean. Oh yeah, I didn't even check. Okay, so what's the armor? Evasion and vampirism are increased. Evasion though, what about this? Okay, so this is better. No, defense, no. Execute no damage to all ring. I have a knife. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. No shield. Yeah, I have a good shield. I have a good shield. Defense 13 and counter 9. That's a cool shield, though. Look at that. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna switch it. Ah. Oh. I don't know how precious I should be about these things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we have more rocks and meadows. Oh, oh, oh. I, I wonder if everything I do and I tile it, I tile it in nines, they, okay. Another beacon. We have another. Okay, so it's not fully. Okay. Maybe it's better if I start putting it over here. I don't know if a beacon is a good idea to instead another beacon. I'll put it there. And I have two oblivions now, which is. Okay. It's interesting. Some, I, I have this trouble with, with a lot of games where I want to, ooh, food supplies, where I, where I want to keep the things with better perks. I was playing, um, uh, oh, stop. Where did this these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remember ourselves. Then now give us all your gut. 
You have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order to this world first? Then you can do anything you want. Goblins must rob. No other order in the world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Huh. Oh wait, I do have one. <laughs> How about... Ooh, being sassy. Look at that. It's strange how these creatures appeared here on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad. And that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. Interesting. What was that? Wait. I didn't put that tile down. That's new. Goblin camp. Yeah, that's, that's new. Oh, what? Something came from the mountain. Wait, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff happened. Okay, so mountain peak. Stone giant. Could support sky itself if it weren't already gone. <laughs> uh, one, plus 120 HP. Five additional HP for every adjacent mountain rock tile. Spawns a harpy every two... Okay. Mm. So that seems to be the... the the balance of this game. You either keep everything very simple, but don't get a lot from it, or you start complicating things to get better things, but it, everything has like, it has a downside. And now I've completed my bar down here. Will it's, will I stop getting cards? No, it just, we're, does it just push off the last one? I'm gonna be watching if I get a card here. Oh, it's just getting tighter. Okay. Road lamp. No, it's not getting tighter. The thing's disappearing. Okay, before we go any further, here's another road lantern. Put it right there. So. Oh, effective lanterns can stack, so maybe I, I should have to like. Say I put a spider. I'm just gonna use some of. Oh, okay, so I see what's going on. I'm just gonna use some of these. Um, so the vampire. Okay. I'm gonna add some grovey groves. I'm gonna- what if I had a grove in front of... What does the grove do again? Spawn a rat wolf every two days. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put one where the goblin is. I'm gonna put one where the vampires are. So I'm gonna try to stack these so I have as few of them as possible going on. Sure, I'll put a beacon here. The cemetery. I, I don't like the idea of cemetery. What, what if I put... Yeah, put one here. I, I just went crazy now. I'm just putting everything down. Uh, and I'll put... Boom. Let's see what this changes. No! What do you mean, no? She kind of looks cool. This is a cool design for a harpy. You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. Our answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of sky. But it doesn't have to... doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and night. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join. Fine. I don't fully understand it, but tell me what your version. Tell me your version. 
What does to save the world mean to you? My progeny and my kin. For them to be strong and to live. It's a part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will seek. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings. And life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, Harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting some golden stuff. I feel awful, but by fixing one evil, I'm becoming a source of another. There's no home for the harpies, except the highest mountains. But there's no food there. I can't imagine how they m managed to survive in their, in their mountains, if their mountains were cut from reality. Um, we have some arrows. Plus attack speed. So vision plus eight. Regen per sec and damage to all. This, this seems more interesting. I don't know, I really like the evasion on that. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with it for a little bit longer. I'll stick with the... Uh... Alright, so we're still getting mountains and rocks. A go... go uh, I thought he looked kind of like a shark. It's a very sharky look to a goblin. Oh, he's powerful. That's what I don't know. Okay, defense 13, attack and counter. Oh, this is just a plus. That's what I don't know is if, how much is it worth me sticking with the same I'm just gonna do it. I have a feeling that maybe damage is going to be more important. Back off, human. <laughs> I don't know. A vampire? Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands. No more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger. Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick. But you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip. Every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me, and I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone. In the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Interesting. So this is a world where I guess all these monsters, other than slimes, are kind of in... They seem, seem to be in peace with you. Vampires often owned our lands. They kept their peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they are just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently, the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. But yeah, the lore of this seems very much like, oh, these, they are all 
friendly. That's a big booty spider. So the goblins seem to be like, okay, the harpies seem to be friendly, just like everyone kind of living in their little ec ecosystem, but... Ooh, that's a big change. But it just doesn't seem to... But now that the world has fallen into darkness and now they can't really get their resources, it seems like they've gone. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Feral. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh, another beacon. Oh no, the beacons are the bad ones. Yeah. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I have another treasury here. Another mountain? Another battlefield. Did I have battlefield before? Oh, what's this? Memory fragment. Rumors, rumors, myth. Rumors, myths, and someone's delusions. It will take weeks to understand it all. I want to pause. Oh, look at this little baby goblin. <laughs> Ten fragments form a complete book of memories. Interesting. What's this? Living has a soul. Rage. Enraged after ally dies. Interesting. Okay. I need to pause for a moment, I feel like. Um, it's going really fast. I wonder if something happens if I completely surround. Uh. That. Okay, battlefield. Okay, battlefield is the thing that give me gives me treasure. So, maybe I'll put it over here. All right. I'm trying to put it wherever there is some like stuff. It decreases the number of monsters, so it seems like a good idea to always be putting stuff where the the lanterns are. Uh, and then we have beacons that just speed people up. And spider cocoon. Which I don't really want to mess with. Yeah. So it's interesting. I kinda I'm kinda enjoying the lore of this game so far. It's a it's an interesting concept. Ooh, this is this is a good one. I guess these are just higher level things. That's why they they seem quite nice. Ooh, I'm running low on life. Ooh. Okay, this is a worthwhile change. And this... No. Not yet. Uh-oh. I kind of prefer this one, even though it's lower level. Oh, okay, so that's what's happening. Once it's full, it just pushes it off. Okay, so then I don't need to use... This is not necessarily a bad idea... Okay. ...to let them... So, it seems like only m mountains. I need to put only mountains to make a big mountain. Because here I, I had another nine, but it had rocks with it, and it didn't really do it. So, note to self, separate rocks and... Yeah, there's no reason for me to put these. I feel like I, I might die soon. Maybe it's, it's it's time for me to... 
gonna slow the game down a little bit. Okay. Thought of leaving- okay, you will lose nothing. Alright, retreat. So that seems like- okay, okay. I can't believe it! Hey everybody, the boy has managed to return! Survivors? Does that mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from, or we just can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of my of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftovers daily leftover daily rations. With each day new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never ever been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from. And our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yoda. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little of myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait! You said I'd managed to return? That means you remembered I was here. Yeah, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. There's no point in to it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted. But we'd be glad if you could help us. And we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you've managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you, for now. I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices in my head. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are a few things that survived the cataclysm and don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten, won't, don't vanish away, can't be forgotten. Take them, you might need them. Ooh, all those resources. All right. The statistics. Oh, okay, they're just stats. I'm loving the visual style of this game. It's really cool. Okay, so I could build a herbalist hut, but I am missing a pimple dimple. I mean, I'm missing two pimple dimples, whatever these are. What are these? Full food supplies. Maybe I need to make a field kitchen. 10% to the campfire's healing power. Unlocks the Blood Grove card. Okay. Potion heals 4% of max HP. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are refilled at the camp. Unlocks the Swamp card. Okay. Uh, Smithy. There's always work for a blacksmith, apocalypse or not. Let you start an expedition with basic warrior's gear. That seems interesting, but I need a lot more of stable metal. Unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp. If this applied... Okay, so I should probably do this. And I'll build it over here. Huh? Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. What? You were waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket, a 
of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the tasty smell of a good stew. Alright. What's this? Upgrade building and dismantle. So to upgrade, okay, I would need a bit of things. Okay, okay. Okay. So I'm guessing that from what I understand, the you the more stuff you build in your camp, it's gonna help you with your expedition. What's this? What's this? What in the world is this? Chrono crystals. They're able to refract not only the light of the rising sun, but the passage of dawn itself. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. That would be good. That would be good with battlefield. Yeah. So that would... I think this would synergize well with battlefield. Which in turn could synergize well with lanterns or beacons. I don't know what these numbers are. Oh, maybe it's just the amount that they cost. Cost two? Okay, it needs to be less than two, but more than two. So two. It needs to be two. This needs to be less than three, more than one. Okay, so the circles on top don't actually have anything to do with it. So these are the ones that can vary. Like, I feel like I don't need Spider Cocoon. That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, Vampire Blood Grove, this is a new one. Can be placed near a forest adjacent to the road. Its roots devour enemies that have less than 15. Okay, we're keeping that. <laughs> okay, so place next to a forest. I'm guessing a grove is a forest? I guess? Okay, and this, these also just two. So you build your deck. So there's a little bit of deck building in this game. Confirm. Let's try this out. Chapter one, class warrior, additional class stats. Damage, vampirism. I don't get the vampirism part. Class that does not have any particular benefits or disadvantages. Has the highest durability compared to other classes. 0.2% damage for the second of the fight. Okay. Okay. So that's essentially the loop of the game, I guess. I, guess, I mean, it is called Loop Hero. <laughs> But, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting my mountains. I'm gonna start putting- no, I'm not gonna put that out yet. I'm gonna wait for a treasury. So as long as it doesn't fill up and push it off, it's okay. Road lantern. This is a good spot for a road lantern. I like it. This is interesting strategy. It's like, it's the opposite of an action game where you're doing the action itself. It's much more you're doing everything around the action, which is interesting. Oh, I'm actually switching. So it's just the strategy surrounding the action, which is a very interesting concept. And I have to say, as someone who doesn't really usually enjoy a lot of the roguelikes with action in it, so I actually, <laughs> um, Empire Mansion. I'm actually not a fan of like the roguelikes where you're actually hitting stuff and doing stuff. I love, one, one of my favorite games of the past years is, um, uh, 
Slay the Spire, which is a card based roguelike. And I oh, that game's fantastic. Um Okay, so I don't think I've put any cemeteries. Oh, okay, so this is a path. Yeah, so since this is a... I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, so cemetery... I can concentrate it around my lanterns. So I'm guessing that if I do want to get farther than just a little bit, I want to... There we go, that's like this great spot, because it can only... Um, but yeah, if I want to get farther than... Oh, here we go, here we go. Blood Grove. Wait, where can I... Wait, how does Blood Grove work? A living forest can be placed near a forest... Near a forest adjacent to the road. I don't think I have. Its roots devour enemies. Oh, I don't have any forests yet. Okay, that, that makes sense. Um, so these are, are gonna be my chest places. Yeah. Enemies on adjacent tiles become can become ghosts. So that's the the negative of that. I have another road lantern. For now, I'm gonna concentrate my road lanterns over here because I... That's where I'm putting all my things. And they do stack, so I'm good on that. Uh, no, I'm not doing meadow yet. Mountain. Rock. I have quite a few meadows now. So I'm going with a completely different strategy this time. I'm putting... I'm concentrating everything around the lanterns that I have already put down. That I can possibly... Okay, here we have another mount. Oh. No, we don't. Counter 10%. No, the speed... The speed is probably gonna... Be better for me. Chrono Crystals! Doubles the effect of... On adjacent tiles. I want to hit... I just separated them enough that I wouldn't be able to hit the... So I want to hit only good things. It doubles the effect of days passing on adjacent. So I want to... Because these are the spawn chests at the end of each loop. Um, so I'm going to do Chrono Crystal right there. I'm going to add Mountain. I'm going to add Rock. Uh... Yeah, that's it for now. It didn't double the effects of the loop. It didn't get an extra chest. Oh, this is good. I don't even have a shield yet. So, it seems like a chest in this situation is like the way to go to get stuff. We'll see, we haven't fought any... We have not fought any... I'm still good. It doesn't make sense for me to regen right now. I'm still getting... Hey, I don't understand. Why wouldn't I just keep... With nothing on it? <laughs> the map with nothing on it. That's my current... Issue. Because it's because I'm adding these things that bad things are happening. Okay, this is our first fight with the Skelly Boy. They're powerful. Oh, maybe I should do... yeah. Do my weapon. Defense 3... Uh, and 
Now this becomes worth it. Another meadow? It's interesting that you can actually make changes to what you're using. Mid- ooh. Going with that. Evasion. Yeah, I'll switch. Yeah, it's not giving me two chests. I was scammed. I feel scammed. <laughs> I'm not getting any treasuries either. I wonder if it's... I wonder if putting the vampire down was what was giving me a treasury chance. Because that would be interesting. So I'm going to try putting Vampire down. Maybe now when I land on Vampire, it'll be an increased chance. Here we have Corona Girl. I'm going to put it away. I'm not going to put it anywhere yet. Yeah, I'm very curious what would cause... Because I was getting quite a few treasuries in the last game. Give me another vampire house. Yeah, it seems like Skelly Boys, they're, they're the hard, hard ones. Like, you don't... It's not like they give you... Uh, they, they give you stuff, but like... I don't know how worth it it is. Ooh. Oh, this is just bad. Oh, it's a bat! It's a mimic! I mean, every game now has a mimic. Mimics have kind of become a, a household name at this point. <laughs> Road Lantern! Alright, I'm gonna start road lanterning more diverse areas here. I don't want to lose blo Blood Grove though. But I don't have any forests. I don't know what vampirism does either. There's just a lot that. There's just a lot that I don't know. Is he healing? Yeah, I think he heals. I'm just saying that they count living and has a soul as like a stat. <laughs> That's very curious. Ooh, there we go, treasury. But I got the treasury by fighting goblins. Okay. So we're gonna meadow it up. Second, yes, I'm switching. This feels like one of those games that I can just keep playing forever and it's gonna be very addictive. It's it's a very simple loop, but a very addictive loop. Like immediately I am attracted to to what this game is doing. Oh, you know what? I, mean, I, I wonder too if 
this, I'm gonna add it here. If this is gonna increase the amount, doubles the effect of days passing on adjacent. Oh, it's days passing, not loops passing. Oh. Uh, okay. Um. So I don't have anything that at days passing is good for me. <laughs> um. Yeah. So maybe Chrono Crystals. Not the best. Okay, appears for every mount. 10 mountains or tiles. Okay. I need to research vampires when they show up. I need to figure out. Wait, I feel like I'm gonna die here again. I feel like I did much less this time. My strategy didn't quite pay off. Oh, oh, oh. I got a grove. Which is what I wanted to test. So I'm going, I'm going to put the grove here and I'm going to put, yes. Okay. Okay. So. so pause for a moment. Pause for a moment. Um, I knew that. No, not beacon. No, uh, no, Chrono Crystal. Wait. Uh, oh, can be placed near a forest. On the road, uh, roots devour enemies. Yes, 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 yes. So where's my other blood grove? There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there. there, it's better. Got another grass. Uh, got another rock. Mm, Chrono Crystal. I don't know the point of increasing movement speed. Oh, I guess because the day doesn't change, so if you're going way faster, it's a better deal. Okay, so I'm gonna put beacon over there, beacon over here, because then you're, if you're moving faster, the day is passing by slower, given the distance that, oh, wait, wait, there's good stuff here. Vampirism, I don't get the vampirism stuff. That's... Ooh, that's good regen. Okay. I'm switching. Oh, we have a treasury. And another grove. Nice. Okay, so. Mountain. Treasury. Meadow. That's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know if putting stuff all around the treasury would do something, and it definitely does. <laughs> it definitely does something, so... Okay, so I'm gonna put the forest over here, because then I'm gonna put the... the blood grove there, which will make it easier for me to deal with all these enemies at the end. Rock goes over there. Oh, yeah, this... This game is so interesting. It was such a simple idea, too. Like, you just get those mobile games that are just kind of like, play their play themselves and you're doing this strategy around, but this has like an added, it's an interesting element of strategy that it's not just mindless, like I feel, I don't know, I feel like that's what a lot of those are. Counter vampires and dags, but oh yeah, I'm definitely switching. So, what's this? Attack speed, evasion, and what is this? Damage, defense, regen per second. I'm gonna keep my regen per second one on for a little bit longer. Just because it's really... Like, I feel like it's doing me a lot of good. Okay. I wanna speed it up. Yeah... Ooh. What will be the best position? Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Ooh, clean. All right. So we... So hopefully, uh, I really wanted to get another blood grove.
It's, it's not good for places with multiple enemies, but for single enemies it's fine because it's also increasing my own speed. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, then it will count for both. Let's see. Yes! Look at that. Mm. I'd love to see it. Magic damage and vampirism. I still have no idea about vampirism. Oh, you... You know what, I get it. Every hit, you heal a little bit, or maybe a few hits, you heal a little bit. Not worth it, though. Not worth it. Not right. Not with that ring. Ring, at least. Ooh. It's nice. Defense counter. Finish killing the doggo! Yeah, it didn't really help me too much. Okay, no rock. But that became a mountain. Maybe the harpies had something to do with the... Uh, 18, magic damage. I like having some regen. Magic damage evasion. What do we have? Yeah, it's just straight up war. worse. Ooh, look at getting all these things. Almost 20% counter, that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm just gonna finish this round of this game and then I'll probably be going over to to well I will definitely be going Ooh Gargoyle where Hello Erica welcome Glow of Beacon increases all creatures attack speed okay How are you welcome welcome Ooh 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 we got a rock I wish I had a mountain <laughs> A lot of crap. How are you? How's your Friday? Happy Friday. How's your Friday going? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything that's. Let's see. Here. Oh, interesting. So the Blood Grove stuff, it actually shows you at what point. Yeah. Oh, so that's what that is. Okay. Ooh, I'm evading like a champ. <laughs> is this loop hero not what I was- I know, I know, I was surprised too, and I'm honestly really loving it. You just got back from dinner? Awesome. Did you have something nice? Well, I'm sure you did. But, no, loop hero has surprised me with what it is. So, I'll just give a rundown, especially now that I'm- I've been playing for a little while. Essentially, you're this little guy and you keep running and you don't control his movement, you don't control his attacks. You can change his gear, make his gear better, and before you go into a match, you build a deck of both good things and bad things that will happen to you. And then you place them on the map. Boom. Place that on- oh, okay, I see. So maybe I just can't build multiple mountains. Um, so rocks give me plus two HP and two more HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. So, and then if I, I put nine of them together and made this big mountains as plus 120 HP, plus five additional HP for every adjacent mountain or rock tile, then spawns a harpy every two days, which that's the bad side. So everything seems to have a good outcome and a bad outcome. For example, the beacons, plus 40% movement, speed within its range and 20% speed for all units including yourself but including the enemies so the enemies attack attack a lot faster so if it's a place where you are having a lot of bad guys 
you probably don't want to have if you're finding a lot of bad guys at once you probably don't want to have a beacon there just because they're gonna they're gonna get you faster and you don't you won't be able to take care but as long as you're fighting one thing there it's fine um so you build this deck and you go on this little loopy adventure and you get resources and you go back to you go back to the camp and you're the camp is essentially what you're building because this is a roguelike so you die multiple times and you come back and you restart the loop. Um, I'll, I'll let it keep going now. The so essentially you're building slowly all these materials so you can make your camp better so you can advance farther and farther and farther farther. Essentially the idea of any roguelike. Um, but. In this case, I, I kind of like it because it's more you're doing more of the strategy rather than doing more of the action, and I kind of like that. I am I was mentioning one of my favorite games in recent times is um, Slay the Spire, which if you haven't played it, it's so good. It's fantastic. It's card based uh, dungeon crawling essentially. So it's like you're fighting enemies as if. It's like Hearthstone, as if you're fighting enemies, NPCs, which is a good time, honestly. At least to me. I enjoy it. Quite a bit. So. Okay, before I go any further... Seven, counter, ba ba ba. Bajan and vampirism are increased though. I'll switch it. Eight. Damage. Yeah, attack speed 20%. That's pretty good. Shield has one down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, seafood. Seafood. Oh, I love me some good seafood. I feel like I don't get much seafood anymore. RP! And like, the art, especially the close-up part, I love the art style of this. It's like simplistic, kind of 8-bit look. Oh, it became a ghost! Um, that was the first time I've ever seen a ghost. The art style of them close by is actually really nice. I really liked it. So far, all the characters have a very nice drawing style when it's doing the dialogue. So there is dialogue, there's a story, which I also really liked. I really enjoyed the lore of what we were getting here um which is like all these monsters that come they they're all friendly but because the universe ended they don't have their uh, means to sustain themselves anymore so they they've gone not feral but they've essentially don't have a way to sustain themselves and live so they're just surviving on whatever they can find because the universe has gone dark because the, the Lich King uh, kind of took over and made stuff go bleh. <laughs> you know. So, not only has he taken the place, not only has he destroyed time, he also destroyed memory, so no one remembers anything. People have forgotten who they are. People have forgotten things in general. People are just like, oh. <laughs> so... That's my- so I actually really enjoy the lore so far as well. I think that it's a very fun, very interesting world that, like, this is coming from. Ooh, 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 ooh! Oh no, this is Battlefield. Battlefield's good, though. Maybe I want to put Battlefield... Yeah. Put Battlefield here. Yeah. I want as few contact points as I can in Battlefield. Here, this will give me two. And treasure iron. There we go. So, I want to have those... These woods on the side, because... I think I mentioned it. Its roots devour enemies that have less than 15 HP, so, like, I don't have to kill the enemies all the way because it will it will actually do it for me, so it makes fights a little bit easier. I don't know where the gargoyles are coming from. Um, kill the big guy first. Yes. 
Ooh, blood grove. So yeah, the blood groves are very useful. And I'm gonna put one right here, right where I have a bunch of stuff happening. That's kind of what I wanted to have done initially. I was testing it out. This is the first time I'm getting a lot of these mechanics. So, like I'm trying stuff out for the first time. Ooh, I'm dead. Ooh. Ooh. You died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. Retreat. You can keep 30% of all resources found. Ooh, I lost pretty much all the good stuff. So you don't want to die. You want to retreat before you die. I'm alive? But how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. We're the key of the world. So here, you have some base building, which is, again, incredibly interesting. Uh, if I hadn't died, I would have been able to, to build a herbalist's hut, and all of this supports you when you're going and doing your journey. So herbalist's hut, I read this earlier. Potion, it allows you to make potions and unlock swamp cards. So then you can add that card to your, to your deck and change. Smithy allows you to start with a warrior's gear, so I don't have to start from scratch. Uh, Refuge was, unlocks a new class, Rogue, so I, you know, these are brand new. These just open. I wasn't familiar with them. And Gymnasium, a place where you'll learn how to read, write, and be polite to your teacher. Physical training takes priority. Uh, unlock the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters in Expedition. Unlocks the Village card. Which might be interesting. It might be a very good car to have. So yeah, so that's kind of the idea of this game. This is, I'm kind of at the end of my thing. So here in deck building, you can pick what cards you want to go in with. Um, so you need to have more than seven cards, but fewer than 12 or 12 or equal to 12. Uh, and there are different types. So these you're allowed to have more, these are only allowed two, which I'm guessing are like basic resource types. These are like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but you need to have two of them, you can't have one. So minimum of two, maximum of two. So this one is the only one so far, and this one. That gives you a little bit of like a leeway. Maybe I won't do... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, so that that's it for, for this game today. Uh, I'll be completely honest. I'll probably be playing a lot of this game on my own time, because this is... It scratches the itch. It scratches the itch for this type of game for me, which in a different way was being scratched by Slay the Spire, which I mentioned earlier, which... Oh, what a game. What a game. But this is kind of getting, getting that a little bit, and I'm like, mm, I want to keep going, I just kind of want to keep playing, but I do want to keep moving as well. Oh, and you can change heroes in the future, blah blah blah, you can do stuff, but... And this is chapter one, because I haven't even gotten close, but... It's interesting, it's interesting, it's unexpected. I can say that, at least personally, I've never played a game like this. Maybe there are games like this out there, maybe, um, and I'm sure, and even as I mentioned before, games have different elements of this, of the, of this game, but no one has ever put it together, and it's such a simple idea to put together, but it's not done before, which is really cool. Anyway, so I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'm going to, um... This use bathroom is just gonna be a couple of minutes. And I will be back very soon with some Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. So.
Just give me a couple minutes and I will be back. 